Hello everyone, it's me Johnny. This morning I'm going to make a breakfast smoothie. I usually have a smoothie for breakfast just about every day. Um, it all depends. Um, today I'm going to make a, I don't even know what I call it, but I'm just going to mix everything up. But this is going to be like a high carb um, smoothie um, because I plan in, uh, to go outside and ride my bike. So it's hot down here in sunny Florida. So it should be in the upper 80s, maybe low 90s. It should hit somewhere around there today. So um, looking forward to it. Um, but today we're gonna uh, make a smoothie, and all the different things I'm gonna use is gonna use some oatmeal. You can mix this up how you want to. You don't have to use oatmeal if you don't like oatmeal. Whatever works for you, just do it. As long as it's healthy. Um, a banana and you want to get a banana with all the black spots on it because it's ripe and it's releasing all the enzymes everything that you the way God the Creator designed it um, for your body uh, to use it up if you use the um, the ones that are yellow and green they're not ripe yet so they just sit around your body not everything is being used all right and open up the banana from the top instead of the bottom It's gonna be good. It's gonna be slamming. Um, Next is gonna be um, fresh ground up flaxseed. I don't measure anything. I just. Next is gonna be. Uh, raw cacao. This also has um, uh, magnesium and potassium. So, plus it gives it a chocolate flavor. This is going to taste better than a chocolate shake or vanilla shake. I don't care from Baskin Robbins. I don't care where you go to uh, McDonald's, whatever one. This is going to be uh, taste better and a lot healthier for you. And we're going to use um, chia seeds. The uh, has um, omega-3 fatty acids that your intestines need um, to fight colds in case you get sick. You know, if you get you get a cold, it might be coming out of your nose or whatever. You might have, you know, all fogged up and you're congested. But really, it's your body fighting, trying to get rid of that um, that virus, whatever is attacking your body. And the war is right here. You may have symptoms here, but the war is going on here. All right, so look at that. Cinnamon, put on much cinnamon you want in it. Helps regulate uh, sugar. Um, hemp seed, protein. I don't measure. Whatever works. Um, like I said, you can do a high, uh, high antioxidant and low glycemic. You know, definitely if you have cancer, um, this is this is the way I would go. When I first got diagnosed, for those who don't know, um, I was diagnosed with um, B cell intestinal non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, possibly stage four. I didn't stick around um, to get the rest of the diagnosis. Um, I started. Uh, I didn't do chemotherapy or radiation because the way I figured, my body's not deficient in chemotherapy. My body's not deficient in radiation. So. Um, I'm looking to heal myself from the inside out and how am I going to do it with nutrition. So I chose the path of nutrition. All right. um, and then here's a, a protein powder mix. You can use whichever one that you want. I have another one. I got like three of them floating around the house. This is a sample they gave me. This is another one. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm on this one now. But it's plant protein. So my diet consists of a lot of, a lot of plants. Not vegan yet. But I'm close. Now I don't use a full scoop. All right, that's that. Cinnamon, chia seeds, cocoa powder. Um, you can also use dates. It makes it real sweet. And I'm gonna use some almond milk.
Vitamix rules. Anybody watching? Breakfast is served. Slamming. It's delicious. Mm. It took a while to get used to this. To have a breakfast smoothie, I just didn't start doing this, but. Go to my station on um, my channel on YouTube, Johnny Ramos TV, and they got different recipes. It's got different exercises, especially if you know someone who's uh, been diagnosed with cancer. Mm. God bless you. Take care. Have a blessed day.